Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front bumper cover on this 2003 uh, Volkswagen Passat. And pretty much the same for both the uh, wagon as well as the sedan models. Tools you'll need are flat blade screwdrivers, both medium and large size, T25 and T30 Torx drivers, and 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. Okay, in order to move, remove your headlight, you're actually going to need to remove the bumper cover, and that's not actually that big of a project. Um, it's just a few fasteners. You've got a T25 screw that's right up in here. Okay, and on each side you've got three screws right inside the wheel well, there, there, and there. And then up underneath, you've got three flat blade screws, one there, one there, and there should be another one here, but it's missing on this vehicle. Okay, as well as, again, on this side, the three screws in the wheel well, and the one up top. Okay, so I'm using a T25 Torx driver, it's a socket with a ratchet. Fast forward here as I remove the three screws um, that are in the wheel well and then the one that's up underneath. I use the uh, extension to get to that one as well as remove them from the other side. Now using a flat blade screwdriver, I take the fasteners out from underneath. They're pretty simple. They actually only turn about half turn and then pull down and out. Okay, on each, each parking light, push the front in. Okay, carefully insert a screwdriver in the back here. And if you pry with the... You want to push in on the front of light and use the screwdriver to kind of pry it forward and then pull it out, disconnect it, and obviously uh, repeat for the other side. Okay, as we open up the hood, then there's two more T30 screws right on the top, uh, on each side of the top of the grill. Fast forward here as I remove those two uh, screws or bolts at the top and then you'll see I go to each side and just kind of pull on the bumper cover and unlock it on each side. Okay, next you're going to want to remove this handle and right in here you can see there's a little metal clip. Put a screwdriver down in there and pry that clip up. Okay, so you can see you have the clip up there. Then take your screwdriver, put it in, and pry the handle apart and pull it off. Okay, so I just reached in with my screwdriver, pried off one side, pulled, and then pried off the other side and pulled that right out. Now right here in the center you'll see a little tab you pry back on that tab and lift your grill uh, straight up on each side. And it should pop out. Sometimes you'll get one of your clips. I'm just reaching down in here, kind of prying this last clip. Out. Okay, these clips should just pull right up and out. This one kind of got hung up a little bit, so I just had to, I had to go in there on the back side and pry like that. And with the grill off, there are four more T30 um, screws right underneath to remove. tab here and press firmly and disconnect then do the other side. Okay, put the bumper back cover back in place. You'll want to reconnect your fog lights first. 
Okay. And put your parking light harnesses up and through. Slots here that go on the tabs here, so you want to kind of rough lift it up in place and slide each side on. Okay, and lift this side up in place. Okay, once you have it in place, then you want to uh, put the four T30 bolts that are um, at the bottom of the grill back in place and tighten them up firmly. Now we'll take the grill, and there's four slots at the bottom, and then these two tabs here and that tab at the top, you want to kind of put it into place. Line it up. Make sure all your tabs are going in. Get the top one. Right down in. And again, we'll fast forward here as we put those two T30 uh, bolts back in at the top. Okay, to reinstall this, what you actually need to do is unbolt your latch mechanism, and there's three 10 millimeter bolts here, here, and here. This allows your latch mechanism to move back here. Okay, so you take your handle, kind of squeeze the forks just a little bit and insert it. Okay. Then you can kind of look back through here. You need to make sure that clip is up. Okay. You want a little bit of a larger screwdriver. Separate the forks. Okay. You separate those forks by twisting the screwdriver and then work the um, handle on there and then push the clip down and lock it in place. And you can tell it's in place when this moves around. Okay. Now we can and we'll kick it into high gear as I rebolt that latch mechanism uh, back onto the radiator support. Okay, and kind of speed up through the rest of the video just in the interest of keeping it somewhat short. Um, but we put the fasteners on the bottom and then tighten up the uh, four screws that are in the wheel well for the inner fender and the bumper cover. And then the parking lights go back in, make sure you plug them back in, then kind of force them in further in front, then force the then the back side goes in and then slide the tabs back into place. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.